what are the protocols for learning walks and talks? Yeah. So uh, it's really important that the first protocol is that learning walks and talks are not judgmental. They're not evaluative. We have a pathway for that um, in Ontario called teacher performance appraisal. That is not what learning walks and talks are about. So when we're in classrooms, and I say five to seven minutes, because all of us can five, fi find five to seven minutes over time during a week. Um, we don't take pencils in, we don't uh, take notes in, we're not sitting at the back of the room uh, writing observation notes. So it's a time for us to walk into classrooms, um, read the walls, look at what students are doing, what the teachers are doing, and it's a time for us to uh, collect that data on evidence of our um, professional learning that we've been providing uh, our teachers. As well, it's really important in this protocol that we don't interrupt the instruction. So there's no greeting to the teacher. Um, there's not, if we're walking with someone else, we don't int uh, talk to each other. It's an, a time for us to really observe uh, what we're seeing in the classroom. And if we get a chance after um, we are in the classroom and there isn't direct teaching, we may kneel down and ask a student five questions. So after many walks in classrooms, the last protocol is, um, is there an authentic question we want to ask the teacher that we want to know more about as a leader?